Hey everybody, it's Badger Ratty here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we defeated Misty for our second badge, the Cascade Badge. In this episode, I am freezing to death. I'm not kidding, the radiators are on, all my computers are on, and I'm still freezing. It's cold outside. And do we get any snow? No, of course we don't get any snow, because England is evil. Anyway, before we ask to do any continuation of anything here, also look at this, yay! Slowbro, or is it Slowbro? It has, looks like a Slowbro. Learning how to cut things! I just thought I'd find that out randomly. I don't know why, I'm just slightly bored and freezing cold, that's why. Here is a bike shop! We can actually get a bike from here, but we can only actually do this later, because if you come to this guy here, you go, Hi, welcome to our bike store! Would you like to buy a bike? Yo, oh, day does! That'd have been good. At least it didn't put me into any debt, but... Yeah, come on, do that again. Go back on, please, thank you. As you can see, a bike is worth 1 million Poké Dollars, and as you can see, we have 2,000 Poké Dollars. I think we're slightly, um... Yeah, we're pretty skint when you look at the price there. And something I've never actually tried before is to come back here and then buy a bike when you have a million Poké Dollars. So I might try and do that later on, actually, way in towards the end of the LP, so see what I can do. And you also noticed I'm running as well. Now, this actually got cut off in the um, last episode, because I was running out of things to cut out, and it was this ended up being a bit of a mess, really. This guy here tells you what the badges do. He's kind of pointless, really, so... Which one of the eight badges do you like to know about? None of them. Shut up and get lost. Don't care about your words of wisdom. What we really care about is what's outside, in the pretty flowers. You first of all, you see pretty flowers. You see this piece of grass here. You click, and you get a hidden rare candy. Yeah, don't ask why that one. It has a thin air. Look, there's a hidden air candy here. Yay! Yeah, no. And I think that's about it for all the hidden items around here. Which means the next thing we're gonna have to do is run up here. Now we're gonna run up and yeah, run right in queue. We get Dan coming to face us. Yo, Matty, you're still struggling along back here. I'm doing great. I got a bunch of strong, smart Pokemon. Hey, let's see what you caught. And now we're coming to our third rival battle. Is it the third one? I think it's the third one. Could be the second one, actually. Now, first of all, he's going to send out a Pidgeot, and then a Rattatat. Um, you can quickly shoot these off down with a quick Pikachu and a quick Thunder Shock, or anything like that. Mega Punch, if you have it. Other things, blah, 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 blah. Um, he also has an Abba. Now, the Abba only knows how to use Teleport, so you can just basically kick it with anything you want, because he's just not going to do anything back to it. The other Pokemon, his final one, obviously depends on what your start Pokemon was. In my case, it's a Bulbasaur, so I can just send out my um, Fero and peck it to death, basically. And as you can see, his Pidgeot's already dead. So now we're going to continue this. And you can attack a Rattatat! No, we don't really care. We're just going to Thundershock it to death. It kind of worked last time I did it. Actually, let's try Slam, actually. I've never tried Slam. Yeah, that's it. Use Quick Attack. Thank you. Come on. Oh, are you kidding? I just to stun the shock you. Stop using quick attack. I want to kill you. Oh, thank you. You're paralyzed. What's the point of making him paralyzed now? And he's going to die anyway. Stupid computer. It should be game. After rat attacks, we should be seeing... I think... Yeah, an Abra! Okay, we'll just keep Pikachu out. There's no way to change him, to be honest. And we can just pretty much stun the shot this one to death. Goodbye, Abra! If you use teleport, it's the first time you've ever used him on so far. Typical. Oh, it fa what? It failed? Teleport can fail? I've never seen Teleport fail, ever. But we'll go along with it though. Yep. And it fainted. Yeah. Now for his final one. He's supposed to use Bulbasaur. Yes, we want to change this time. And we sent out Fero, or in this case, Sugar. Go and go, Sugar. Kill his Bulbasaur. Come on, hurry up. And peck. Peck it to death. Come on, die, die, die. Why is with everything and having like one health left on me today? Seriously. I did a quick test run of this like half an hour ago and everything just died in one hit. Thank you for sending me to sleep though. Sending me to sleep. Now I can't speak either. No, wake up! Wake up! Oh, I'm gonna have to poke on that side. I don't want to do this. Fine, go squirtle, wartartle, whatever you are. Come on! Don't use Vine Whip, please don't kill me, thank you. Come on, tackle, tackle it's death, tackle it's death, die, 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 yes! There you go. Alright, we gain some XP. 
Nothing levels, and we defeated Dan. Yeah, that's how you kick your butt. Tickets are easy, you won already. Give us our money. Ha 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 ha. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world famous for Poking Maniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on the PC too. Since you're using the same system, you should go and thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Yeah, I'll smell you later too. Yeah. Oh, wait, what, what do you want? Oh yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. Not really. You're always plodding behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. We get the Fame Checker. We can pretty much skip everything else I was going to say. It's pretty pointless. The Fame Checker is basically something, I don't know, what's a, what's a stupid gossip magazine you can think of? OK Magazine? Hello Magazine? Stupid things like that. That's basically what it is. But now we get some stupid, um, bridge. If we're on this bridge, um, we're going to want to heal, so we'll do that now. And we are healed! And because I know the order of all the trainers on this bridge, I have switched my Pokemon to the Bug Trainer. We are going to kill you with our birds. Mwahaha! Right, beat us five trainers and you'll win a fabulous prize. We have five trainers on this bridge. You get to the end, we fight a sixth trainer who is a Team Rocket guy, and he uses an item if we beat him. That's about it. So here we go. And you are down! Yes, that's right. I actually defeated every single trainer along this entire route with a Pharaoh. I think Pharaoh level once, I'm not too sure, because the Pokemon menu isn't pairing. There we go. Yes, he's level 21 and nothing else levels, really. So yeah, I defeated all of these with a bird Pokemon. So there's a quick tip for you. Now we're going to face off the last guy. If you defeat him, he will give you a nugget. Congratulations, you beat the five contestant trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. Massey received a nugget. A nugget is nothing. You just search the Pokemon mats like 5,000 Pokemon. That's about it. In fact, now I think about it, I think we still have that other item we got from Mount Moon that I need to sell. I should probably get around to that at some point. By the well. By the well? Yes, there's a well head. Uh, no. By the way, how would you like to join Team Rocket? What? We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. What do you... There. Uh, want to join? Are you sure? Dude, we're not saying anything. Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. We didn't say anything. I'll make you an offer that you can't refuse. With your ability, you'd become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. Do not let this chance to waste. Uh, no, we don't want to join you, but thanks to the um, convincing anyway. Your level 17, I think it was, Ekins, was very convincing indeed. Now, once you've defeated all of them, come up here, and there should be TM45 attracts, which does absolutely nothing, is another pointless TM. Yay! Now, here's the more important part. This grass here, I think. No, he's not a trainer, just ignore him there. Now, this grass contains, if I am correct, an Oddish and an Abra. We want both of them, so. In good old fashion, I'm going to cut here, and I'll see you back later when I have both of them. Yeah! Okay, welcome back everybody. Uh, I actually just called them, and that guy who I said wasn't a trainer actually was a trainer. He is very weak though, so you'll defeat him very easily. Now, I did actually catch an Oddish and an Abra. I caught Abra first time on full health, which was kind of strange, because normally it just teleports instantly. And the fact that he was on full health was kind of surprising as well, to be honest. Now, I have an Abra here called Kevin J, after the lp -er, Kevin J 2010. And we also have an Oddish. Now, some of you might recognize Oddish's name. You might not. It's expected. But he's called Steve. After Steve, the Pikmin. The Red Pikmin. Yeah, I kind of, I couldn't think of a name. Then I suddenly thought, hey, hang on. Oddish starts off having a leaf. Then he slowly grows into a flower with a spiral plume. Hey, it looks like a Pikmin. Steve, yeah. Even though it's not red. But it's red. I wish you could paint your Pokemon. That would be funny. But there you go. We have the Pokemon I said I was going to get. Yeah! Alright, uh, so let's go back up to the top of the bridge, shall we? And using lightning speed, we are now back at the top of the bridge. Yep, welcome back to the top of the bridge. I shouldn't have just done that. I accidentally used the speed button. Oops. Alright, now between here and us actually getting to Bill, the Pokemonic, there are like a billion trainers, and there's a few tricks along the way as well, which is kind of evil. So, I'm going to try and cut out as many trainers as I can, but there's a lot of hidden items on the way as well, as well as other Pokeballs and stuff, so... I'll be jumping in and out from time to time. So here we go. Hey, and look, here's the first time I need to jump in, straight after the first trainer. How ironic is that, eh? 
Okay, so hidden item number one along this route is, I believe, an elixir. If you stand here and face this wall with another thin air little gap, speak to it, and we should get an elixir. There you go, one elixir. Put in the item pocket. So, now it's just a case of going along and defeating more trainers. Yay! At least you have to see all of this. So, oh, the joy. Here we go. You can just skip a load of these, by the way, so yeah. Well, he was absolutely tough, wasn't he? The only Pokemon he had was four Geodudes. Oh, look at me, I have a Squirtle, I'm just gonna rape you. Mwahaha! <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Here's second nut cut number two. This train up here, I'm hoping I do not press to the right accidentally now. But, as you can see, I'm gonna go here just in case. You can see that there is a Pokeball right there. Now, you can see the bad positioning of this trainer here and the little tree up there. If you accidentally and stupidly, um, make him come to you, uh, very close, like here or something, you can't get to that Pokeball and you have to come back way later on and get the, um, use cuts basically to get that item. So what you need to do is after you've killed this guy, come here and walk forward every few steps until eventually he sees you and then we can go in and get the items. But first we need to kill off this guy. He is dead, so let's go and get this item, shall we? Yes, I can't remember what this item is. Secret power, there you go. I can't remember what secret power it is. Oh, unleashes some secret hidden power, or is that unknown power? I can't remember now. Huh. Uh, let's see, I think this is the next place. I believe this hidden item is located here. Yes, what a guess. Orange berry. We have now obtained a berry pouch. I shall quickly show you what this is. If you go into your bag and go into key items, we should have a berry pouch. If we open this, you get all your berries. So an orange berry, basically, once your Pokemon hits a certain amount of health, if it's holding it, if your Pokemon's holding it, it will restore its health by a 10. And I think you can just use it as a potion anyway, so it'll just basically give it 10 health back. But, uh, do I really want to skip this guy? Skirt, we'll attack him, fine. Okay, before we go and fight this trainer, oh yes, that's right, you guessed it, another hidden item. Here, stand here, face this way, and you get a block berry, yay. Another berry, so many berries in this game. But now we need to go and fight this trainer before we go and meet Bill, so here we go. And she's defeated, and here is Bill's house, but guess what? Yeah, that's right, you guessed it, another hidden item, seriously. If you're wondering what the flashing on the screen is, it's because Pharaoh is poisoned, and I can't believe using an antidote because there's just no point, really. I believe the item is here, and it should be an ether. Is it? Ah, oh, yes, it is. Awesome, there you go. And there you go, now I get to talk to Phil. Okay, could Pharaoh please just die? I hate the flashing on the screen. No, wait, where's Bill? What's this Clefairy? Uh, I don't know, let's just speak to the Clefairy, shall we? Hiya, I'm a Pokemon! No wait, no I'm not! Yo dude, you're confused! Call me Bill, you a fairy. You just said you were a Pokemon, now you're saying you're human! What are you? I'm a true blue Pokemaniac! Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experience and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it, help me out here? Oh, I'll say yes, because we wouldn't got time. Wait till I get in the teleporter, and then go to his PC, and just press it, basically, without all the Jumbo, Munjo, whatever. Now you see, the Pokemon, we see Bill come out this end, but where's the Pokemon, seriously? How did he turn into a Clefairy? Anyway, he's now out, he's gonna walk down here, stand there, not even come and thank us, you have to go up to him in order to him to thank us. Yeah, thanks bud, I owe you one. So, did you come to my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer, we didn't say anything. I've got to thank you. Oh, hey, maybe this will do. We received an SSM ticket from Bill. Let's put the ticket in the item's pocket. That cruise ship, SSN, is the Vermilion City. I hear there are a lot of trainers on board too. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dues. Why don't you go instead of me? Yeah, okay, cool, we'll go instead of you then. Sounds good to me. And Thingy Guy is still dying. These two are basically just two wolf birds looking out into the ocean, so I just ignore them. What we next need to do is there's a hidden path going down here. Vero, would you please just die? I hate seeing the screen flash. Ah! And I did actually check, I don't actually have an antidote, which makes it ten times worse. But, I could be running actually, what am I doing? Come down this way, and we get to jump over this. Yeah, and now we're back in the town! And as you can see, the police officer is not blocking the door anymore, but we're gonna go and heal our Pokemon first. 
Well, here comes the sucky part. We have reached the end of this episode, which, I don't know, do we really do much? Defeat the rival, defeat a few anus, got a few secret items. So, Bill, so, oh yeah, I forgot to show you that one, actually. Once you've met Bill, we will get this. Come on, get in there. Oh, I can't run indoors, I hate that. Thank you. Would you just go back, please? Thank you. Right, someone's PC will now be called Bill's PC, because Bill created the star system, and that's about it. So, end of the episode, and next episode, we will be going to the next city, so I'll see you all then.